Yeah. Hello, everyone. <laughs> do we look dorky? I definitely do. Well, we probably do without the helmets, too. Anyway, today is a really exciting day because as you may know, if you watched our previous video, we are still in Fort Collins, Colorado, and we're gonna do our own little bike and brew tour today. Fort Collins is very well known for its craft beer scene here in Colorado. It produces 7% of craft beer in the United States and 70% of craft beer here in Colorado. That's a lot of beer. That is a lot that of beer. That is something we didn't know until we got here. And lucky for us, we like beer. So today we're gonna be taking you through three different breweries. The first is gonna be Funk Works, and then the second is gonna be Odell Brewing Company, and New Belgium Brewing, which is the fourth largest craft brewery in the nation. I kind of routed this out myself, but we're really excited. Let's ride. Let's ride. <laughs> Ready to ride. The toasty one. Who's ready to ride? Flops and everything. We gotta hurry because it's hot. So, to the first brewery, it's only about 25 minute ride, but I will say it is very hot and the sun doesn't visit around here. Here we go, I'm gonna pass them up. Slow pull. <laughs> That is the worst part of the trek. That was a good 30 minutes, but Odell's only five minutes away from here and then New Belgium's only seven minutes from there and they're all like back roads, so we're all good. We planned to do this today, but unfortunately we did not check the weather before we planned. And today is the high of 99, which the past few days has not been that hot. And inside's a bit crowded, um, so it's like really loud, so we're sitting outside. It'll be good, we'll get some refreshing beer. Now that we've done that, that was a 30 minute bike ride. I don't know how uh, they're staying for beer. <laughs> the first brewery on this wonderful brewery tour is Funk Works. And so you can tell that this is a brewery that's a little bit off the beaten path. It's north of town and it's kind of in an industrial zone. It took us about 30 minutes to bike here, but it is incredibly cute and decorated and a lot of people have come out to drink the beer here today on a nice Friday afternoon. So this place is really known for Saisons and sour beers and I absolutely love sour beers. So I'm thinking about maybe a flight because I asked for recommendations from the waiter and he gave me three really good options. So, okay, my flight is here. This is a lavendary sour, lavendary? <laughs> this is a lavender lemon sour. This is a rhubarb, which is like rhubarb and strawberry. What do you say, an Arnold Palmer? It's an Arnold Palmer. <laughs> like so. That's gonna be good. And this is the Bramble, which I didn't really catch what made it super special, but it was award-winning year after year after year. Like Jenna said, they're known for their sours, but they're also known for their saisons. When the brewery first opened, the owner was already a gold award-winning saison brewer, and so he took his talents, partnered with a partner, and they opened up Funk Works. So a saison is basically one of their year-round beers that they have here all the time, so I had to get it. The saison is supposed to be like a Belgian style, they call it a farmhouse ale, but it's super, super refreshing. This is actually really refreshing for right now because we just biked 30 minutes, so. It's a farmhouse ale because farmers would work all day and then they'd want something refreshing afterwards. So, I mean, we just bike. Also, I just want to say any brewery that you come to that has um, complimentary snacks is a good one. <laughs> all right, we're officially done with Funk Works. We're going to be on to the next brewery, which was a recommendation from our Funk Works bartender. So, we're going to be going to Horse and Dragon Brewing. Holy shoot. Horse and Dragon. There's a lot more AC and it's much better. It feels much better in here, but I'm going to be trying a hazy IPA and Jenna is trying a, a pineapple and ginger lager. So I'm really excited. This place is amazing. Very low key. I uh, killed the plant. Uh. <laughs> So, as I kind of said, this is a pineapple ginger lager. I asked for something light because, you know, when we were biking over, I was just 
realizing how hot it was and how those towers were not sitting well with all that biking. <laughs> so I was like, oh, let's do something light, something fruity, something good. Overall, this is a really cool vibe. We got this tiny little table and it's perfect. It has a world map above us, okay? What screams Jen and Drew more than a world map above a tiny beer table? And there's a bike hanging, there's a bunch of like eclectic uh, decoration and just a bunch of stuff. It's really cool to look at and it's really fun. Ready? Ready. Left a little sticker. All right, we're headed to the next brewery and luckily there's a massive cloud covering the sky. So on the plus side, it's nice and shaded. It feels cool. <laughs> and the other side is it's thundering and we're a good 30 minute bike ride, probably 35 or 40 minute bike ride away from their house. So. I don't know why Andrew got three beers here when we're trying to go to four oh, okay. breweries. Okay, hold on, hold on. They were five ounce brews. I just wanted to try them. My butt already hurt. Already we love Colorado so much. Oh, puppy! Oh, that is a cute dog! <laughs> Good. There's a hat. there's a mirror right there. Look. I know I I don't even need one. Nope. <laughs> Alright, so we've made it to El Odell Brewing Company. And this is one of the more popular craft breweries here in Colorado. It was open here in the late 80s. I believe the original brewery is actually a little bit farther away from here. We got a little flight because I really wanted to try some of their beers, but on an atmosphere scale, I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. Me and Jenna love this atmosphere. It's outdoors, it's beautiful. We have a giant patio slash sitting area, but I really, I'm, I'm interested to see how the beer tastes. Give it a shot. Starting off with a light, crisp Lagerado. The artwork's genuinely wonderful. It's really good. It's really crisp and refreshing. On a lager scale, that's an eight out of 10. Good beer. <laughs> well, it's about to rain and we definitely need to get over to the next brewery. So our consensus of this brewery is that the atmosphere here is fantastic. We love it here. But the beer is the beer's great, honestly. Like this is a beautiful atmosphere, great beer. So we had the classic flight. I would seriously drink every beer on this flight. It's just a huge brewery. There's a lot of people here. It's very crowded. Anyway, this is a great yeah, great brewery. Really enjoyed it. Also, we didn't know this, but apparently there's a winery around here somewhere and two food trucks. When we walked in, a guy was like, you know, the wine, the beer's better. Stick with it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> good to know. So we're kind of taking that as maybe the wine's not as good and we're not going to try it because this is strictly a brewery tour. Bike and brews. But yeah, the rain seems like it's coming in. We need to finish up this little flight and head on to the next one. All right, we're gonna book it to the next brewery and I think we're gonna make it. You know what, I see lightning, I hear thunder. But you know what, Colorado's all, the weather's always just, you know messing with you. It pretends to rain and it shows warning signs and it never really does, so. Ready? I'm, I'm, I'll follow you. Oh, I felt a raindrop. I bumped it up. Okay, first impressions. Wow, as soon as we walked in, we had our camera out and one of the employees here, his name was Ramon, and honestly, Ramon, if you're watching this, this is the best experience we've ever had at a brewery. He asked us about our camera gear, we started exchanging just like different information. We got his links, I'm sure we're gonna put them in the description in the video. And also the brewery is beautiful. They're playing a concert outside, so it's very difficult to hear outside. We try to get some seating, but it's just, it's, it's packed. Even that, the beer is amazing too. I mean, like, this is an amazing beer. Um, I got a honey orange. Orange Trapel. Fun fact, New Belgium was an employee-owned brewery, so he said between 5 and 7% of beer sales actually go back to the employees. So the beer that I got was recommended, and it is the Summer Tropical Ale, and you can only buy it here because they're no longer distributing it, and it is really, really wonderful. I See, I'm not the biggest like beer connoisseur, so I'm not gonna be able to describe it to you on what it is, but it has hints of guava. It's nice and refreshing, very summery. I'm still sticking with the light beer as we're on the fourth brewery. But I will say, Andrew said it's better than Summer Shandy. Well, this is our uh, official last brewery. Tomorrow's gonna be our last day here in Fort Collins, so we decided to spend our second to last day doing this. All we have left is to uh, 
bike home and we're done with our brewery tour. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Four breweries in one day, it's pretty cool. Um, and the fact that you can bike to each one is awesome. We loved each brewery and we just genuinely love Fort Collins and being able to bike around and experience each brewery in a multitude of delicious beers. So, so glad you could come with us. All right, let's do it. If these people are walking, we can do it. Woo! Woo, we did it. Oh. Mostly buzzed and a lot of biking, honestly. That was a lot. That was so fun. Now let's go make potatoes.